so it's Saturday now and um, in a few hours we will be leaving to go to the holiday um, it's like gonna be a two hour drive I think but yeah I'll keep you updated and yeah I'll try and be filming it all so yeah fill to the brim got the essentials So just got both rods out, um, feeling semi-confident, saw a show on the far margin, that's where I've got one of my rods. Um, and I decided to put one close to this aerator down here, um, which is my right hand rod. Um, was led, did a bit of landing around, you know, just didn't really know what the lake bed was like, got told it was a bit silty, and yeah that was the case. I was deciding to fish the far corner. After a bit of letting around, I just thought, nah, it's so shallow and silty. Um, I just wasn't feeling confident in it. But I managed to find a firmer, slightly deeper spot underneath a tree on the far margin. And also this corner where the air race is. It's actually really firm and um, deeper as well. So yeah, got the right end rod, which is down there in the corner on a pink wafter. And the one which was bait boated underneath the tree it's got a um, Ronnie rig on yellow northern 12 mil yellow northern special so yeah feeling semi-confident and fingers crossed something happens tonight it's a very carpy mug that So we arrived at the lake on Saturday evening and Sunday was our first proper full day of fishing. Started out no action during the night at all. The night went by really, really quietly. However, mid morning, JG lands the first fish of the session. This was a really nice mid double mirror and that followed up um, with me landing my very first fish of this session that was around midday 15 minutes ago JG actually managed to get one from the back margin where I was actually fishing in the night so yeah the game has changed I'm just having a walk around try and see if I can see anything on the surface um, if I do I might have a go but if not I'm gonna put a rod to that back margin same spot to hopefully get one. It wasn't looking good, but his capture just made things a bit different now. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. So the left hand rod, which was bait boated underneath a overhanging tree on the far margin, just went off. I've got a nice scaly mirror in the net. Well, here's the result. First fish. I'd say a mid double.
I caught this fish by um, putting quite a lot of bait in my far margin spot underneath the tree. So yeah, just a 12 mil yellow pop up over a big bed of particle produced a bite. After that fish, it went dead. The action did stop. However, once evening did come around, the rods went again. I had two bites during that evening session. Um, one came off the same uh, far margin spot underneath the tree. I tried a new spot at the back margin and that produced a 15 minute bite off the new spot. That was just a little mirror but yeah the new spot did pay off and yeah it, it produced a really quick bite. Just reset the rod and this one only took about five minutes and yet screamed off with this really nice leathery mirror. Barely any scales on them at all just on the top here. Switched over to 14 mil yellow northern special pop-up because we're just catching really big roach on them but yeah really nice catching these mid doubles. <laughs> So the next day on Monday um, in the morning I went to the tackle shops to get a few more supplies. At the time when I was at the tackle shop JG managed to get a upper double mirror, the biggest fish of the session so far. So it was quite a quiet night last night and uh, this morning I saw one show so I decided to chuck a single yellow northern on top of it and 20 minutes later I got a massive drop back, I hit it and it resulted in the biggest fish of the session so far. Probably about 18 or 19 pound this one. Yeah, lovely colors on it. Proper happy with this one. All right, let's get it back. Yeah, that was a really lush fish, a really old looking fish as well. So yeah, that was just a good start to the day. And that followed up with um, a little bit more action from JG catching a halflin stocky as well as another linear. So I just had a bite resulting in this nice little stocky. No monster, but can't really complain. Uh, from a new spot, I put my rig under a willow tree and only took a couple of hours, maybe less than that. So yeah, nice little fish. Let's get them back. Just add this one, nice linear, had it from the far margin. So yeah, nice fish, nice colors on it. Wow, happy with this one, let's get them back. day three now. Um, yesterday, to be honest, there was quite a lot of action, especially towards the evening. Um, and yeah, ended the day with that really nice leathery uh, mirror, about mid-double. And yet again, the night was quiet, unfortunately. However, today, um, yeah, it's looking good for day bites once again. JG has already caught two uh, today. This really nice upper double half lin. Looked really old, really nice fish. And he just had a nice uh, half lin stocky as well. Uh, so yeah, it is looking good for some day bites, as I said, and hopefully I do get some. Run out of sweet and sour sauce. So that is to my when the evening did come around, I managed to catch a small little stocky just before we had our barbecue. Well, the 
took all day but finally the rod to the far margin underneath a overhanging tree went off 14 mil yellow northern special this one was absolutely nailed bottom lip and yeah what a result really nice linear probably just scrape a double but yeah I really needed it <laughs> but yeah um, let's just get them back destroyed. So on Tuesday night um, in the early hours of the morning at 1.40 a.m. I actually get a small mirror just on a single yellow pop-up casted um, out into the middle of the lake because we kind of ran out of light to replace the rod with the bait boat underneath the tree so I just decided to flick out a single pub chuck it out and yeah that went off at 1.40 a.m. with a small mirror. So on Tuesday during the day, JG actually managed to catch one out of the edge and that was a really nice upper double linear, yet again a really old fish. So I've just had this one, pre-baited a spot in the edge a couple of hours ago, put the rod in and uh, only took about 15 minutes and this one was on the end, put about 17 pound this one, proper lush one, nice linear. Yeah, proper old fish as well, as you can tell. Yeah, we're happy with this one. Right, let's get them back. And this is when I started to pre-bait my own spot in the edge. And yeah, I actually managed to catch one out of that pre-baited spot. And that was just a really nice, scaly, little stocky yet again. However, yeah, I wasn't really complaining. Um, my pre-bitted spot did work and yeah, it paid off. Later during the day in the evening, I actually managed to get two small stockies once again in quick succession uh, from the back margin. Getting the bait boat out to the spot. This one's underneath a overhanging tree. It's done pretty much most of my bites, to be honest. It's a good spot. Yep. Yep. Nice. It's done. that was bait boated underneath the tree has gone off again this is the spot which is doing most of my fish I've had all of them apart from one underneath that tree so yeah uh, still another little stocky uh, hopefully next time I can get a slightly bigger one so yeah that's just slipping back now
which was boated underneath the overhand tree has gone again as usual another little stocky hopefully getting through these will give me a bigger one but we'll have to see I uh, can't complain, these are in mint condition and yeah, the scale patterns on these are quite insane so yeah Oh well, let's just get them back now So on Wednesday, yet again, nothing during the night we had our usual breakfast which was fried eggs, bacon and a brioche bun Alright, so it's day 5 uh, of the holiday and once again the night went past very very quietly we're struggling to get a few during the night um, I just don't think they've really feed we have only managed to get one bite during the night um, and that was not last night but the night before um, and I, that was taken on a single yellow pop-up but yeah this night I went in with another single pop-up maybe just because they don't really feed during the night they just ignore the bait but once again, yeah, nothing happened. Um, JG managed to get um, a, a bite around 20 to 8 in the morning. Uh, and that was just a little five pound mirror. Didn't bother recording it. So it seems like we can only get bites during the day and we're just working really hard to get them bites. That's why I've started a little uh, pre-bait spot right on the edge on the opposite side and that paid off yesterday for me got a really nice scaly one um, yeah got a bit of footage of that and yeah I was really buzzing with that because you know the hard work paid off and JG managed to get a really nice old um, upper double linear thing yesterday as well from the edge so yeah um, we're going to be doing that again we've put a little bit more bait in on our spots so yeah hopefully we can get a few today so it was rather quiet during the day, so I decided to try my pre-baited spot again. Unfortunately, nothing showed up. So I noticed most of the bites were coming off the far margin, so I decided to put both rods back out there again, and that produced a small common. Yep. two rods to the back margin and within five minutes it's gone with this little angry common yet again another small, small one but not complaining as they're mint yeah let's see if we can get a slightly bigger one let's just put them back so on Thursday um, nothing happens during the night again um, we struggled to get any bites during the night only one uh, throughout the whole entire session. We have our usual breakfast which is the bacon egg and the brioche bun and after that the day just was very very quiet nothing happened at all. So it is what was it Thursday? I've lost count now I think day six and yeah it's, to be honest yesterday was very very dead I only managed to get one fish JG had a few small ones as well um, but yeah, to be honest, don't really know what's going on. They're probably reacting to the pressure and it is quite, quite cool actually. Um, only 17 degrees I think yesterday as well. It's meant to be about 18 degrees today. But um, yeah, the bites only seem to be coming in the evening. I've kind of got a little plan for today. Um, I'm going to fall back on my pre-baited spot which is over there in the edge put a little bit of bait in this morning I'm gonna probably fish it fairly soon and yeah what I'm gonna do I keep on seeing fizzing down in this little edge spot here so I have fished it but I don't know um, 
they're probably not really staying around for too long so what I'm going to do is put a little bit of bait on this spot and then probably fall back on it later today after I've fished my little edge spot so yeah that's the plan anyway and hopefully it does work and I'll try and get a few during the day as well so yeah decided to have another barbecue in the evening however right in the middle when we were eating the barbecue JG's rod to the back margin rips off and that is another upper double linear really really nice interesting fish with a lot of character I had a black eye and everything and yeah it's just another really nice old fish a barbecue and my left hand rod decided to go whilst we were eating and it's resulted in this one probably 18 19 pounds lovely linear yeah well trust with this one because it's the only one that's been out all day today yeah lovely fish lovely colors in it as well all right let's get them back Yeah, Friday was our last full day of fishing. Unfortunately, this day turned out to be our quietest day throughout the holiday. There was no action at all during this uh, day and we decided to treat ourselves to a Italian as one final meal before we left. So it is Friday. This is our last full day of fishing here yesterday. We struggled to get anything up until the evening where JG managed to have that really nice 19 pound linear, probably the highlight of the session. And I um, saved a blank and I managed to get a four pound scaly mirror um, like right at the end, um, just before it got dark. Didn't get any footage of that, but yeah, it was just a small one. But that means I've caught every day I've been here, except from the day we got here. So yeah, I'll take that. But hopefully uh, today we can get one last chance to get a really decent one. That's what I'm hoping for. And yeah, um, I'm gonna be trying my pre-baited spot again today. I put a little bit of bait in this morning and apparently one boshed quite close to it, so that's a good sign. But yeah, I'm just on the island now. There's a bridge there you can walk across. Just having a look to see if I can see anything, but it just seems a bit dead. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get a few more bites before we leave tomorrow morning. So Saturday came around, this is when we had to leave um, after a really eventful um, action packed week of non-stop fishing. I must say I was a little disappointed about the size I caught, however JG's fish, four upper doubles really did make the trip worth it and like I said it was only a holiday so it wasn't just about the fishing but yeah I rather enjoyed myself and yeah that was the Devon Escape film and I hope you did enjoy.